Today we're going to be painting our clay insect. You'll have a lot of paint colors to choose from and you can put these colors anywhere you like on your insect. We're just going to use our brush and carefully add the paint on. Now the funny thing about painting clay projects is that they are three-dimensional. So not only do you have to worry about the top surface, but you also have to carefully look underneath objects and on the sides of objects because you can see a clay project from many different angles. It's not flat like paper. Like I have to be really careful to get the inside edge of this pincher thing that I made on this insect. Now, if you want to change colors, of course, that's fine. Just don't forget to clean your brush. Dry your brush off. We don't want to get any water into our temper paints. I'm also being really, really gentle with my clay project because I know that if I drop it, it could break. So you have to be extra careful as you pick it up and move it around. I'm also gently tapping my brush down so that I can fill in any little cracks or textures that I created on my clay project. That's another thing about painting three-dimensional items is you have to tap, tap, tap that paint down in there. Now I'm just going to keep on going until my whole clay project is colored with paint. Now my bug is all painted and I can wipe off my hands with my towel at my table. Sometimes when you have to pick up your clay project to paint it, you might get a little bit painty on your hands, but try not to get too much so you don't have to waste too much time cleaning your hands. Now the very last step after your project is just a little bit dry, you can add some oil pastel details on top. So this is up to you how much oil pastel you want to use. Some kids like to use a lot. Some kids just like to use a little. But you can use these to very carefully draw on top of your clay project. So now I'm adding some lines on top of my bug's body just to give it a little bit more detail. Keep in mind that if you're doing oil pastel, if the paint is still wet, the oil pastel isn't going to draw very well. So you have to do it in areas that are already dry. Now the very last step after you have all of your paint and pastel done is we're going to add a little layer of Mod Podge on the top of our project to seal in all of the color. So I am going to clean my brush and dry it off really good on the towel so that it's nice and clean and dry. And I'm just going to dip the brush into the Mod Podge and very gently coat my project with the Mod Podge. Now I know that you're probably thinking that this looks kind of yucky because it's so white and gooey and it's kind of covering some color, but don't worry because Mod Podge dries completely clear. So what it ends up doing is just, it protects your paint and oil pastel and it gives your project a nice shininess to it. So I'm just going to cover this over the whole top of my project. You don't need to do it on the bottom because we don't want to pick this up. Mod Podge is pretty gooey. So just leave your project setting on the table and paint it on the top. Now when your Mod Podge is done, you can put your brush into the water bucket to soak off all that gooey Mod Podge and leave your clay project to dry.